The spot ETF has the potential to send Bitcoin's price easily into six figures. In this video, I'm going to explain exactly what a Bitcoin ETF is, how it would work, and how this would skyrocket Bitcoin's price into six figures. So hey, my name is Steve. I've been working in the tech industry for over 10 years now, and I've been investing, trading, and making crypto content for over two years now. So if you're new around here, please hit the subscribe button, and with that, let's jump into the video. All right, let's break down the Bitcoin ETF into simpler terms. There are two ways you can invest in Bitcoin without actually buying it. Through a futures ETF and through a spot ETF. With a Bitcoin futures ETF, you're kind of making a bet on what Bitcoin's price would be in the future. Imagine telling a friend, I bet in a month the price of this car will go up. It's a bit like that. You don't own the car or the Bitcoin in this case. You're just making a prediction on its price. On the flip side, a spot Bitcoin ETF is more straightforward. So here a company actually collects money from many people like me and you and uses to go ahead and buy real Bitcoin. When you invest in this ETF, your money values goes up and down with the current price of Bitcoin. It's like pooling money with friends to buy a car and then sharing it. But obviously in this case, the car is Bitcoin. In many countries, people can invest in both types of ETFs. But in the US, while they've said okay to the betting side ETF, the futures one, they haven't said yes to the one that buys real Bitcoin, the spot ETF. What does a spot approval mean for Bitcoin and Bitcoin investors? This is so significant because it could change the way the traditional Wall Street banking system works. If approved, large investors with tons of money could quickly buy up to $10 million worth of Bitcoin without initially using their own money. This would be similar to instantly buying a $10 million house without paying anything up front. Having this ETF would mean that all major banks, investment banks and money managers would easily be able to step into the Bitcoin market. Now let's clarify what no money down means. Imagine a hedge fund that manages a billion dollars and does business with banks like JP Morgan or Goldman Sachs. Currently, if they want to buy $1 million worth of stock like Apple, they could simply make a phone call and even if they didn't have the money, the bank would lend it to them at a 2 to 5% interest rate. This is because the banks have a lot of trust in these hedge funds. They know that the hedge funds have other investments and other assets. So if there's a problem, they can use those assets as collateral. This is the no money down deal and it is essentially a line of credit that banks give to big clients. However, for a hedge fund to actually buy Bitcoin, not the spot, the actual real thing, things aren't so simple. Buying it requires a lot of steps, approvals, some can take up to 12 weeks, and most importantly, cash up front. So with the Bitcoin ETF, the process becomes as easy as buying regular stocks, making it attractive for big investors and big firms. They can then repay this loan over a year. If the Bitcoin ETF becomes available, buying Bitcoin would be just as easy. Make a call, get the loan and have the Bitcoin in their account by the end of the day. On the other hand, without this spot ETF, buying Bitcoin directly is a long, complicated process. A hedge fund would have to go through setting up new accounts, get new approvals, wait for weeks and then jump through loads of bureaucratic hoops. Once they're ready to buy, they would need to have actual cash because platforms like Coinbase wouldn't lend them the money. Additionally, while they can easily borrow money against most of their other investments like Apple stocks, borrowing against Bitcoin is currently not possible in the traditional system. This means, in simple terms, buying Bitcoin directly today involves a lot of effort, a lot of time and stress. And remember, if the asset is lost or misplaced, there are no recovery options. On the flip side, with the Bitcoin ETF, not only is the process simpler, but if the value of Bitcoin increases, they could even borrow against it using the best credit terms. While Bitcoin itself isn't directly integrated into the Wall Street system, the ETF, the spot ETF, would bridge that gap. Early institutional Bitcoin adopters took risks, but they benefited by purchasing it at a lower prices, such as like the 10K Bitcoin or the 30K Bitcoin. In the future, buying Bitcoin might become as mainstream and straightforward as buying regular stocks from these institutions especially if its value reaches predictions like 250k, for example. The introduction of this ETF is essentially a step forwards 
towards the future because it validates Bitcoin as a legitimate asset. It also integrates it into the standard financial system, allowing large investors to quickly buy massive amounts of Bitcoin. However, it's important to note that the Bitcoin ETF isn't guaranteed approval yet. Several ETF applications are under review, including from major players like BlackRock. Grayscale's recent regulatory advancements suggest there is progress there, and Bloomberg estimate that there's a 75% chance of this ETF getting approved. But it's essential to remain cautious and not to jump to conclusions just yet. So look, that's it for today, folks. Let me know in the comments if you are bullish on the approval of a spot Bitcoin ETF and what price you think it might hit. And if you like this content, make sure you stick around, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next video.